So almost every day we hear about black holes, objects whose gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light can escape. They are most exotic objects in the cosmos. And they have been studied for more than hundreds of years by thousands and thousands of scientists and physicists. Black holes are important not only in astrophysics, but also in quantum gravity and elementary particle physics. And now if somebody tells your black holes were never there, instead you had something else, he or she is likely to be termed as a crackpot, maybe blacklisted, or even partly ostracized from scientific community. Fortunately, that is not the end of the story. But to be balanced, first I tell, why people believe in black holes? See, consider our neighboring star, Sun, which is a massive ball of, uh, hot ball of gas. It is so hot that electrons are stripped of their atoms. So it is charged gas. It is called plasma. And this plasma emits light and heat. That is like fire. So Sun is a ball of plasma. Also, the localized motion of plasma creates magnetic field. So Sun is a magnetized ball of plasma. But Sun has a lot of gravity, and gravity tries to pull everything toward the center. What holds Sun tight? Despite the gravity, it is the pressure of the gas. So temperature also increases the pressure of the gas. But this has a limit. There are much more exotic objects in the cosmos. One is Newton star. When Sun has a radius of around 0.7 million kilometers a Newton star has only 10 kilometer radius, the white spot. And its density is almost 100 trillion times more than that of Sun. So it has immense gravity. What holds that gravity? So what prevents it from collapse? Not ordinary gas pressure. The neutrons have a quantum repulsive pressure. So it is a quantum pressure. But even the quantum pressure has its limit. So, so Newton star has an upper mass limit of around three times solar masses, three solar masses. If more massive, it may undergo collapse. But in the cosmos, astronomers have been finding objects, compact objects, which are not only more massive than three solar masses, they could be billions of solar masses, and certainly they cannot be Newton stars. So by default, we call all such objects as black holes, because it is believed that black holes, only black holes could be arbitrarily massive. Although we see many kind of illustrations about black holes, nobody will tell you I mean, that black holes are the simplest object, the single black dot you see. In 1915, Einstein gave his theory of gravity, general theory of relativity. It is very complicated, and mathematicians try to solve the simplest problem, single point mass. And you see the red sphere around, that is imaginary sphere, that is the radius of influence within which gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light can escape. And the point mass, density is infinite, gravity infinite, it's called a singularity. But in the red sphere boundary, there are a lot of peculiar thing happens, when a funny thing happens. And inside it, as if space becomes time, mathematically, time becomes space. So Einstein did not believe in all this jugglery. And many of the forefathers, well, founding fathers of relativity also did not believe in black holes. But later mathematicians told that we can do mathematical dressing on this event red sphere, which is called event horizon now. Earlier it was called Schwarzschild's sphere, and then things should be okay. And then in 1939, American astronomers Oppenheimer and Snyder gave some solution that apparently massive stars can collapse to a single point. But they did so by ignoring all important effects like pressure, temperature, viscosity, radiation. When you take any of the single effect into account, you do not have any exact solution. So theoretically, there is no proof that massive stars collapse into black hole. And then, much later, 1981, it was found that many of the founding assumptions of black hole paradigm were wrong. See, mathematicians told that event origin is so regular that nothing blow up there. Everything is finite, smooth. And also, it is so smooth, observer falling towards the event horizon will not even note it that he has crossed the event horizon. This was proved wrong. In 1981, a simple paper showed that acceleration due to gravity, which is 981 CGS units on Earth, becomes infinite at the event horizon. Now, things can be infinite only at the singularity. So, this was an indication 
that event horizon is actually same as the singularity. This is possible, the radius is proportional to twice m, 2 m is equal to 0, that is m is equal to 0. Now, m is equal to 0 means E is equal to m c square, total energy of the point mass is 0. In relativity, general relativity, this is possible, because most of the energies are possible, uh, positive heat and internal energies, but gravitational energy is negative. So, in principle, negative gravitational energy can offset all positive energies and E is equal to mc square 0 is positive. And in the following year, Carl had showed that if observer is falling towards black hole, one measurable quantity behaves in a peculiar way, it changes sign and by that you can detect the event horizon. So, after that black hole paradigm should have been revised, but it was already very well established and all these important things were with some LIVs were put on, under the carpet. This is a paper two months back in the prestigious Nature Astronomy. Here the authors are telling actually the evidence, of, evidence for the black holes are scarce and their interpretation is difficult. So, after 100 years and these authors have also shown that if it was claimed that LIGO gravitational wave detection proved existence of black holes, these authors have shown it is not so. The similar signal can come from two compact objects which are not black holes, but almost as compact as black holes. This is Sky and Telescope Famous International Magazine and it is one of the scientific editors last year wrote this article, what is there inside a black hole. You put any crazy thing, time warp, wormhole, anything will go, anything crazy thing will go in black hole. But actual answer is that we still do not know what is in the black hole. Why is it so? It is the simplest solution, after 100 years you are telling you do not know what is there inside black hole, that means you really do not know black hole. I go back to three decades back, noted Indian physicist, Imra Thanu Padmanavan is from Kerala, Jayant Narlikar and Thanu Padmanavan. So, they wrote a paper, they found, uh, found many inconsistencies with the concept of black holes and they concluded that this can be avoided if there are no, no true black holes formed and universe in state contain quasi black holes. What are quasi black holes? So objects which are almost as compact as black holes, but they have no event horizon, no singularity, they are not vacuum, black holes are vacuum. And this is something like very ultra compact form of sun. And this is a paper few days back published, it is still questioning do event horizons exist and the authors are telling they need not and probably there are no exact black holes. And before that in 1962, Paul Dirac considered the finest theoretical physicist ever. 1962 he told the interior of the black hole is very unphysical, it should not occur. But nobody, neither Einstein nor Paul Dirac nor anybody can precisely show why exact black holes should not be there. And this was attempted for the first time by this present speaker. In 1988, my research showed that instead of exact black holes, you have very close quasi black holes. To understand this, see, in relativity we say space time is like a rubber membrane. We put a weight on it, it sags. And this bending is a measure of the gravity. So, in the black hole paradigm, a star contacts, its gravity increases, you have that red line, event horizon forms. But beyond that, it suddenly terminates into a singularity and space time gets snap suddenly. On the other end, what I found is that a star collapses, gravity in increases, space time bends. Then it contacts more, it increases, space time bends more and this becomes a runaway process, it goes on eternally without terminating. Therefore, I told instead of true black holes, you have eternally collapsing objects and also I pre my prediction was that they should have strong magnetic field. I told neutron stars, neutron stars magnetic field almost 100 trillion, almost trillion times more than that of sun because they are much more compact. And this uh, echoes, eternally collapsing objects are also much more compact, they should have magnetic field much stronger than even your neutron stars. But my papers from PRL physical review later were rejected, although comments were not really embarrassing. Then I sent my papers to Professor P.C. Baidwa, India's probably one of the most famous relativists and it is his research which in 1950s showed led the founder for study collapse of stars which are emitting 
radiation. He told that my interpretation, all those things are on right track. There are actually some problems on confusing art elements which I removed much later. So I sent a long paper to Foundation of Physics in 1999 and that got published almost 18 months afterwards for the end of 2000 and it shed not only black holes, not even uh, trapped surfaces which is the foundation of uh, singularity theorems by Penrose and Hawking and this became a news. So two American bloggers, many there are many brick beds and two American bloggers in particularly told he must be a crackpot, how uh, uh, does he dare attack these things. He must not be knowing any relativity, but there are many bookers also. In particular, three American astronomers took great interest. So, Daryl later, he passed away in 2011, that time he was in University of West Virginia. Then Stanley Robertson is emeritus in a small university south of Oklahoma University. Rudy Shield is Center for Astrophysics, Harvard Observational Astronomer. I had one paper also with a famous Norman Glendening, who is also emeritus Bartley. So we have together almost written 25 papers. We are not only telling just why no exact black holes, what are the alternatives and what are the various other predictions. So what we are telling, before that we under, let us try to see whether it is possible the T is equal to M0 is possible, I have told him, because it is telling energy is 0 and that is possible. And before we understand our work, is it only quantum pressure which can support a black a compact object? No. In 60s, Hoyle and Fowler showed that if a star is very hot, it can attain what is called Eddington luminosity and then, then you can have a very radiation pressure supported object and that is what we showed. But in this case, the Newtonian case, these objects have arbitrary high mass, not low, lower mass. But I went for general relativistic extension and there is all lower mass is possible, all higher mass is possible. What happens when stars cool up, they become hotter and they radiate. E is equal to mc square, E reduces, m reduces and then m reduces and further in the strong gravity light rays are bent. In a neutron star they are slightly bent but black hole is much more compact. So immediately before formation of black holes a state must reach for all the heat and radiation everything from the star will be trapped and then the star must attain Eddington luminosity and then by definition collapse should halt and it is a hot ball of plasma, eternally collapsing object and also magnetized magnetospheric eternally collapsing object Miko. This is what I showed. On the left side you have black hole, a point, vacuum and nothing else and arbitrary. But what we are telling, you have an ultra compact sunlight object and it has magnetic field anchored magnetic field and this picture was developed on five papers in quite uh, important prestigious journals. In 2006, my American colleagues also presented evidence that uh, one famous black hole in a quasar appears to be Miko because it has Newton star like anchored magnetic fields. In contrast, true black holes have no magnetic field, absolutely no magnetic field. Their surrounding disk may have some magnetic field that is weak and their structure is different. Since then, astronomers are finding more direct evidence that very close to the so-called black hole strong magnetic field. If it were possible normally this paper would not be appear in leading journals nature and science. This is not understandable in black hole paradigm. They do hand waving but it is understandable by Miko what we told. They don't cite our paper, stakes are too high, nobody can admit 100 year old black hole paradigm is wrong and that too by shown by an Indian unknown Indian astrophysicist and few not so prestigious American astronomers. Also sun is a magnetized ball of plasma, it is always turbulent, you have solar wind and then also you have flares, fire leaping out and massive burst called coronal mass ejections, so magnetized plasma comes out, even terrestrial communication is affected. And now from the last two years, we have seen close to the black hole, the flare is coming out. This is very difficult to explain in the black hole paradigm but can be naturally explained when you see black holes are magnetized balls of plasma light sun, so flares can come out. Now people say, uh, this fellow is telling uh, no black hole, relativity says black hole. It is not so. In relativity, the mass of the object also comes from an integration constant. For a galaxy, it is extremely high, this value of the numerical value of the constant. For a star, it is much lower, for a planet much lower and as I told, black hole comes for a single point mass. 
it is 0 here because E is equal to, it is a ground state, lowest energy state E is equal to 0 and there is a definite proof for that thing in my paper. Assume for a moment my paper is wrong. Then in 1969 it turned out French relativist had also given the same conclusion. He showed that whatever you see the red sphere that actually appears to be merged with the point. So that happens when radius is 0, R is 2, M is 0. That is M is equal to 0. But again black hole paradigm was already established, Bell's proof was ignored. Let us assume Bell was also wrong. Then class 7 mathematics is there, any quantity x is proportional to m. But if x also happens to be 0, then solution is m is equal to 0. You need not know what x is, but technically x is called Ricci scalar. Physically we think, but for a point mass, the Ricci scalar is proportional to mass. But Black hole solution is obtained by assuming x is equal to Ricci scalar is 0, so you have m is equal to 0. This is a proof no Nobel laureate can ignore, even God cannot ignore. So true black holes have zero mass energy, ground state, and whatever you see in the sky, they are very massive, so they are definitely not black holes, whether we accept it or not. So as the theme of this talk, we need to shade our old skin and accept the new thing. And it has happened, if you go really to theoretically, if you see the physics, the black hole paradigm is gone. But if you see politically, black hole paradigm is still reigning. So, and I am sure I have not been able to convey much in this talk. Those who are interested, they can go through this book. It will be published next year. I have written at the invitation of a leading Indian publisher. And this will convince you that, as I told, black hole paradigm has already gone as far as exact science is concerned. But there are corporate feelings in science, there are political things. So by those measures you may see every day, you can hear black hole, you can see black hole paradigm is raining, but our papers are almost unchallenged. And they are all correct 25 papers, we have all the predictions, and predictions have been seen from magnetic field around black holes, you see every day. And then you see flares coming out from black holes cannot come, they can come from the close to a MECO. So every way our predictions are verified and theories are also exact. As I said, even by class 7 mathematics one can see m is equal to 0 and I think you will be convinced when you go through it and thank you for your attention. Thank you.